Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Edu Care. Today I have brought another session on desktop view automation using Pywin Auto module. Let me show you what I'm going to do today. So basically I have three exe files that is connect to hcl and vpn login these are the exe files and basically these are our python files dot py files but that has been converted to dot exe files standalone applications so which means this exe can run in any system without the python interpreter installed this is a very good uses of this uh, tool exe and uh, if you want to know more about uh, how to convert uh, dot pywfile.exe uh, that's a video flashing on my screen you can click over there and you can see or else like uh, I have already uh, added the video link in my description box you can go through that also you see like I have three things so my sequence will be like first it will open the VPN login and then it will connect to the head connect and then at the end it will connect to the HCL so, so these are all the tick inter modules so let me show you what is there so once it, if you click it will take some time to open so you will enter something here and then it will connect after clicking connect it will uh, open the connect window where you will be having the options for login username and password just enter something just enter something click ok and at the end it, it will connect to the HCL uh, window form okay so here you will enter something so you will use a password or mail id and the most important thing i will be showing you here is like the browse file so once you click the browse file this window file will open browser file will open and from here how can we select a specific file and select open so this thing is very important one which is not available in my all the previous videos so you can stay tuned with me to learn more about how to use how to automate tick inter quiz so normally tick inter GUIs are different, little bit different from our normal Windows form that is built using .NET framework. Let us start and see how the code is being written. If you see, uh, this is my application which I have already built. Actually there is a requirement for one of my viewers to do some sort of automation for this. So I have helped him in doing it. So if you guys also have some requirements or if you guys having some doubt, you can always uh, you can always write down an email to my email address that is rafikjavit to other gmail.com. I will definitely help you out. At least I will, if not, I will, at least I will try to help you out guys. Okay. So first of all, uh, for automating any desktop application using uh, Python, you need to import Pywin Auto. Then you need to import time. This is nothing but we will be causing some delay we will be uh, entering some delay for, for, for creating the next action then from pywin auto application import application and then from pywin auto dot keyword import send case so we will be uh, entering some keyword strokes so because for that we will be importing send keys okay now first thing first thing what we are going to do is like we will be starting the application named vpn underscore login dot exe since my VPN test my Python script that is used for automating this uh, exes and the, all the exe files and the same folder so I'm directly uh, uh, entering the VPN underscore login dot exe but if your file is in another location just enter the full path okay then wait for ideal is equal to false and time dot sleep is eight why because some systems may slow and it will take some time for the exe file to open if you see in my case itself it will take some time to open so if I don't put time dot sleep is equal to eight, if it no, doesn't wait for eight second, so before before this page opens, it will try to look for the next line. That is, it will search for any window with the title VPN login, but it cannot find the title and it will throw an error. So for that, uh, for, for those kind of issues, we will be putting time dot sleep eight seconds or eight to nine seconds in based on your system. Then next, once it done, okay, I'll be just minimizing it. minimizing it and now I will, I will be showing you how to find the parameters or objects 
for each uh, MUI application using inspect. This is a tool which can uh, find your objects or classes for each objects uh, in your UIs. So normally in tickinter, this particular enter box is tickinter tk child zero. Then we have tk one, tk child one, which is invisible, and this will be of tk child two. If you see that class name is tk child, uh, if you see that tk class name is tk child, and then uh, this is your button, connect is your button. Okay. Now once your application is connected to this part, once your uh, automation application is connected to your VPN login, then app, this app dot login, this login window, you can take anything from here, it should always match. So login dot TK child two. So this is your TK child two, as I told you, right? TK child zero will be the entire thing. TK child one will not be available. And the last box, if you have multiple text box, right? So the last text box will be your TK child the the maximum one ticket child two so ticket child two and then click underscore input so it will click here once it clicked so app dot login you get you uh, ticket child two dot edit so once it clicked here now you can see the cursor here it will try to edit this field what what dot type keys user id so i will be entering some user id here you can use your anything text once user is entered App dot login dot button. This is nothing but button. If you see here, the control name localized uh, class name is button. So app dot login dot button dot click underscore in, underscore input. So if you don't have any difference between click or uh, click underscore input, in case of click, it will click here, but it will not see the mouse coming uh, coming over here and click it. If you put click underscore input, this will give you a real uh, user uh, reference, like the mouse will hover over here and then it will click the connect button. So this is the only difference. Then once it got connected to the click, then automatically this particular exe, this VPN login exe, right? It will open the another tool that is connect. So now what my automation application should do is like, it will wait for 10 seconds for waiting for the next uh, window to open. Let me connect it. Okay, let me close it because if I use more than uh, this particular file will not work properly. So this is my connect window. Okay, so I got this window opened. Where is my code? Okay, so I'm waiting for 10 seconds, and by the 10 seconds, this particular window will open. So then I will have a code that is application.connect title. Any window with the title connect, it should connect. Any window with title connect should be connected to this uh, automation application. Now, next. I need to enter some username password. So first thing is like I need to click here, right? So as I told you, like there's a ticket child properties, a class name you can say. So first is ticket child zero, is this box, then ticket child one is not available, then ticket child two. So then ticket child two and ticket child three is there, right? So this is two boxes, etc. So you should always start with this. Ticket child two should be at the bottom. Then this will be ticket child. It's always two. 2 will be your ticket child 2 will be your bottom uh, text box so if you have 10 boxes 2 will be your bottom then 3 4 5 it will come up like okay so ticket child 2 ticket child 3 so first i'm clicking here that means app dot connect this title name ticket child 3 dot click underscore input and then app dot connect ticket child 3 dot edit then i will be having a type key that is user id then app dot connect ticket child 2 dot click underscore input so it will click over here and then it will edit type edit and then it will type the uh, keys that is password next app dot connect button 2 so i have two buttons here okay in this case also this cancel will be uh, the last button cancel will be a button 0 there is the normal button so there is no button 0 there's a normal button and then there will be no button 1 and this is button 2 okay so app dot uh, connect that button to click underscore so it will click over here once it clicked over here it will automatically open another way another uh, application that is this one so guys if you want to build your own uh, tickinter gives so i have some video tutorials on tickinters projects so if you want you can go through those also i have the links in the description boxes as well as uh, 
the video links are flashing in my screen too. If you want, you can go through those. So now, uh, this HC of window is open. So what my next uh, script looks like. So it waits for 10 seconds. After waiting for 10 seconds, it will try to connect to the title or connect to a window with title HC. See, this is HC. So once it's connected, then it will look for app.hc. As I said, you 0, 1, then this will be a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so tkchild 6. Click input. And then tkchild.6.edit. For all this, I did click and put ID enter the type case. Then for tkchild5, enter the user uh, username, then edit. Then tkchild4, I have clicked. And I next is like tkchild4 edit type underscore keys password. Similar way for tkchild3 or uh, xyz email address. Now, once this is done, next thing is like. I need to click on the browse folder, browse files. So I have two buttons here, similar way. So this will be your zero. This is zero and this is two. So it's the browse to that is dot in the click. Once it clicked, what will happen is like I will there is a dialog box will open that is select a file. Okay. So again, like I will have another connection on connecting string open that is app one is your application that connect. Or select a file so it will try to get a select a file now in my case the file which I'm going to load is in this path right help.txt I in this path so see users of Java text of Python program folder so next what I'm going to do is like App dot so I need to click here and enter the path. So I need to click here and enter the path. Once I click here, this box will be editable, right? So app dot select a file address band toolbar. So this is nothing but if you click here, this is this tool is this option is nothing but address band toolbar. This property. Let me show you how did I find it. Go to inspect. Let me bring it over here. If I click here, you can see ancestors address band toolbar. So I can you can take from class name. So class name, if you see there is no class name here, so we can directly take it from the ancestor that is address band toolbar. So that means if I click here, select a file address band toolbar. So click, I did a click, and I have a window opened here. Then what I did is like I put three send keys, right keys. So one right key, two right key, three right keys. Okay, so that one right key if I do, it will come C after C. Second right key will be coming after the columns, and the third right key will be the text will be after the slash. Okay, once it is slash, the mouse will be here, and then I have a path defined. Path users, Rafik Javed desktop Python programs, and then folder. The similar way here, right? If you see here, similar way. So C C has is already available, so I have entered the text from here. Be aware guys here one more thing is like you need to enter the slashes in double slash either you need to put in double slash or in the Backslash singles backslash you can put Either I can put two forward slash or one single backslash. So in this case I have put two forward slashes That's upon your wish Now Next is like It's not required now now next is I have added the path then app one app app one dot select a file that's the uh, window name then you files of and type edit so what I'm going to type so in that particular field I'm going to edit type case path this particular path I'm going to enter here with spaces is equal to true and set foreground is in false what this is going to do is like you have a space here correct but when you enter type keys, when you enter something with type keys, the spaces will become null and void. So normally it will understand it to be as Python programs. To make a spaces space, we should give switch spaces is equal to true. 
hope you have understood it if not you can uh, write down a mail to me or you can write down uh, you can uh, uh, you can put your doubt on your in the comment section i will uh, try to help you out guys so once the path has been entered i will click the enter button just type it I should put this uh, double here, but normally for, while you're writing the Pywin author code, you need to put the double for, forward slashes. Okay. So it's entered. Once I click the enter, I will have this option then app one dot select a file, file and name edit. This is file and name edit. Type is help text. So it will type your help text. Okay, and then it will click open. Select a file, open dot click underscore input. App dot hc button. The once it is open, it will, once it is open, right? So this window will close, and I have the window over here. So app dot hc button dot click underscore input. So in this way, this automation will work. So let me uh, run the code. And if you have any doubts regarding this, you can always uh, approach me without any hesitation. I am always there to help you guys. So I have more uh, videos on automation as well as uh, Tikinter, how to build a project with Tikinter videos available in my library. You can always uh, approach there and you can view them. Okay, I have some issue. Uh, maybe because I need to uh, space, I need to put some more time duration that is uh, trying to connect the connect right. Yeah, maybe I'll put 15 seconds here. So let me increase the time for our safer purpose. Okay, let me run the code once again. So it's clicked and then putting username and password then again it is by clicking the OK button and then next it will open the HC window and uh, wait for some time and then it will start editing the fields. Username, username, password, then browse file, let's see, help to text, help text, open and then OK. So at last, if you see, my click button is clicked OK button. Or oh, this is how you can automate a desktop view application using Pavin Auto. Hope you have understood this video. If you have liked my video, please press like button. And for more videos, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.